Hello everyone, it's Mr. Ryan from the library. I am here with another fun-filled story time craft. This day, today's craft was inspired by What the Dinosaurs Did Last Night, A Very Messy Adventure. Yes, what a fun book that was to read. Now again, these will all be in our grab and go bin upstairs in the children's room and the things you'll be supplied with in the bag are your green construction paper, your paper plate, your outlines, which you'll have to cut out. I just didn't cut out for the sake of making this video too long. Your little outline stencils for the body parts. And then this is kind of the fun part. Um, these are the things that will not be included in your grab and go thing. Um, you'll need a glue stick, scissors, and like I said, this is the fun part here. You can do it one of three different ways. You can use green markers. If you happen to have green paint, you can go ahead and use that. Or you can do what we did with our apple craft last week or the week before, and that's tear up the pieces and glue it on. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm going to be using green markers for it just because that'll kind of speed up the video. And as you can see, I have already traced the body parts of my dinosaur. So I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to cut them out. And again, you don't have to use green and this is such an easy craft that you could even use the stuff from home. I'm sure everyone has paper there and if you don't have colored paper, you know what? That just means you get to design your own thing while the video is going on. So it's very loose rules here. You don't have to follow them exactly. That's the whole point about being creative, am I right? So we're going to go ahead and cut these out. Now we're gonna get the tail. And you're gonna notice on your stencils that it does say one leg is for the front and one leg is for the back. Um, so let's get the scraps out of here. So what you could do when you're done cutting them out is probably just go and put a dot on one that is the front and nothing on the other. Whatever way makes it easiest so that way you don't get confused at where to put the legs when you get to that part of the video. I'm just about done here. Also, while you're waiting and cutting out your dinosaur's legs and neck and tail, why don't you guys tell me down in the comments below what your favorite dinosaurs are and why? But okay, so you see here that we now have our tail, our two legs, and our head and neck. Now we're going to take our paper plate and we're going to Use our glue stick and we're gonna glue it right here. Put a little bit on there because I don't know about your plates, but my plates have little grooves on them. Um, and if you're getting them from the packets, then you'll get grooves on them. And then once you are done, press really hard right there. Flip it over, there you go. And then we are going to do the back leg. Now the one that looks kind of like a turkey leg, that's the back leg. And what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. Put a decent amount of glue on it. And then you're going to glue it right here to the back. And you're gonna press down real hard, just like that. And then this one is your front leg. And again, it's very rinse and repeat how you do this craft. And then you're gonna do this and you're going to press down on it. And then when you are all done with that, you're going to glue the tail and you're going to do just what you did with the neck. You're gonna 
press really hard, just like that, and then you have the body done. Now, like I said, for the sake of time, I'm actually just using a green marker, and hopefully this one works, I didn't check it. And you're just gonna kind of color it in. Now this is, again, you don't have to be stuck just by using the color green. You can use purple, yellow, pink, turquoise, all those fun colors in the rainbow. I mean, it's your dinosaur, it's how you envision it. Be creative, you know? And a lot of people I saw in some other videos had also used um, different kinds of like glitter glue and different kinds of paint and sequins just to really pizzazz them up. So then I'm done coloring mine. So then I'm gonna take a dark green little marker and it won't go on. And I'm going to draw its little face. And then just like that, everyone, you have your very own dinosaur. Thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed this. Be sure to come in the library and check out what the dinosaurs did last night, a very messy adventure. And thanks again for watching.